with Sherry Dietrich, who is the UTO coordinator for the Diocese of Maine. This is her first time visiting uh, Triennial and General Convention. Sherry, tell me a little bit about your impressions and uh, what's going on with UTO. Um, it's been very exciting. I, I have always left uh, conventions to my partner because I thought one Episcopal geek in the family was more than enough. Um, and I thought it would be pretty tedious to come and hear all this stuff, but it has been absolutely inspiring <laughs> and um, exciting to participate in the worship services. There are all kinds of people believing all kinds of things, but we have the core of Episcopalianism, whatever it is, and the responses to hear those ringing affirmations in the responses in the service. Uh, I've cried at every at every service. <laughs> it's been it's been wonderful. I, I'm looking forward to the next one already. So tell me what what's been an inspiring story? Um, I went to a workshop on um, what was called God's Web. It was, it was about social media and um, how to communicate and and she gave she gave just all these fascinating and statistics. Uh, you know, I I am not of the social media generation. I do Facebook sort of half-heartedly. Um, but the statistics about how many people do use Facebook and only use Facebook. And the thing that I thought was most interesting, she said, um, they did some research, they wanted to find out where the Episcopal Church was being talked about on the internet. And they thought it would be, you know, people looking for churches or people bad-mouthing religion. And it turned out to be um, the most common site was Weight Watchers. And the second one was uh, Baby Moms. And the third one was uh, Wedding Sites. So life changes, big life changes, was when people were talking about the church. And I thought, that's not any different than it's ever been. It's just that it's on a different medium. I, I just found it really fascinating. So, so United Thank Offering being all about gratefulness, what, what, mm -hmm. what might you bring home to Maine in terms of, of spreading that word of gratefulness and how we can give? They emphasized, really, that UTO is not a fundraising thing. It's, it's a personal, devotional thing. It's all about, the most important aspect of it is that we all be thankful. The money aspect of it is secondary, but... Um, so it's converting people to lives of gratefulness. Uh, lives of gratefulness, which we're commanded, which we're told to do in every service we go to. It is right to give God thanks and praise. And so that's, that's, that's what I want to share with people and, and um, have them start thinking about it differently. Well, yes, it's, it's great to extend the circle of thankful people with the money, but it's, it's good for us. Well, we look forward to it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.